Happy January, Ravens! Welcome to our new monthly mailbox, where we answer questions from Carleton's international students. I'm Taddy Hondonga, I'm a fourth year health sciences student, and I'm also a global peer advisor with Carleton's International Student Services Office. With a new term, there are many new questions, so let's get right into this month's video. So question number one. Hello, ISSO. I just arrived in Ottawa for the first time, and I'm looking to learn how to get around Ottawa. From Sierra O. Firstly, welcome to Ottawa, and I'm so excited for you to make Ottawa your new home. From rideshare apps such as Uber and Lyft, to Ottawa's expansive public bus and railway system run by OC Transpo, there are many ways to get around the city. My first winter, I was shocked to see people arrive on campus by skating on the Rideau Canal. Whoa! Most students are automatically enrolled into the UPASS program, which allows students unlimited travel on OC Transpo Transit and the STO in Gatineau. When I first arrived, I was a little bit intimidated to see people use public transport because this is not common back home where I'm from. But now I just really appreciate being able to get across the city by just the tap of a card. New students should pick up their U-Pass at the Campus Card Office on the fourth floor of University Centre. Please keep in mind that during winter, there may be delays, so you should check your transit app and the weather app with GPS tracking before heading out. I hope you love Ottawa and make it your new home. Next question. ISSO, I am so excited to start my journey at Carleton. Are there any upcoming social events where I can meet new people? From Mo F. First of all, Mo, I love your energy. Attending events is an awesome way to get to know other students. And you never know when you'll meet someone that is just as obsessed with weekend anime marathons as you are. This month, look forward to the ISSO's International Winter Welcome Programming, where you'll have a chance to socialize with other international students, learn about Ottawa, and you may even get a chance to meet me. Houston's Winter Frost Week is another great way to meet students at fun events aimed at helping you celebrate a new semester. Finally, Carleton is home to more than 250 clubs, from Carleton's Ravens Quidditch, to the CU Dance Crew, to cultural clubs from all over the world. There's something for everyone. Third question. I'm really interested in the Global Pals program. Can you tell me more about it? From Fassard N. I'm glad to hear that. The Global Pals program is run by the International Student Services Office, and the office matches international students with another upper year student or a graduate level international student who can support you during your journey at Carleton. You can connect with your Global Peer Advisor through virtual meetings or via email to get answers to questions like how to get involved on campus, Ottawa highlights, or just anything else on your mind. If you get matched with me, make sure to ask me for my top five restaurants you cannot miss in Ottawa. You most definitely want that list. For more information about the Global Pals and how to sign up, check out carlton.ca slash ISSO slash Global Pals. Last question for our mailbox. Hey ISSO, the winter holidays broke my budget. I feel bad. <laughs> What are some top money tips for international students? From L. Shin. There have been many great questions this month. For me, budgeting is not only about saving, but earning money. If you plan on working in Canada, make sure you start by applying for a social insurance number. This is a unique number that is issued by the Canadian government, and it is used for many purposes, and you need it if you want to work in Canada. Details on how to apply can be found on the ISSO website. Next, attend this month's career fair on January 19th. In Canada, the summer job search starts pretty early and you can benefit from meeting possible employers. Make sure you sign up for the Preparing for the Fair events 
to get your resume ready. One money saving tip is if you're staying in your home country this month, consider opting out of the UHIP health insurance and UPASS as you won't be using these services outside of Canada. More details can be found on our website. That is the end of all the questions we have for today. Thank you to all the students that have written in. Please continue sending all your questions you want to have answered at isso at carlton.ca. Have a great term, Ravens.